Well, you obviously enjoyed that sandwich, John Redcorn. Now let me tell you about a different kind of sandwich you might enjoy. At Strickland Propane, we offer our customers a sandwich of excellent service. The meat... Pink, I'm sure your propane is wonderful. But the reason I met you for lunch is because I'm worried about the way Dale is raising my son. Okay, easy there. Joseph is Dale's son, and you have nothing to worry about. Joseph's a good kid. Heck, he's Bobby's best friend. I saw him unscrewing salt shaker tops at the food court. He ruined an old man's taco salad. Well, you know how boys are. Yes, but there comes a time in every boy's life when he must decide to be good or bad. And a big, strong boy like Joseph can be very good or very bad. He needs a vision quest to guide him. Vision quest? All cultures have a similar rite of passage. Your people have a bar mitzvah. Uh, we're not Jewish. Really? Look, if Joseph needs something, Dale's his father and he's gonna take care of it. You're cutting the field trip? You're gonna get in the hugest trouble in the world! Give your little pandas a shout out for me. <gasps> Maybe Red Corn was right. Joseph's fallen in with the wrong crowd, and every group of bad kids needs a heavy boy to be the lookout. And Bobby is so impressionable. I hope he has the strength to stand up to him. Mom, Dad, I just saw the most incredible fabric softener ad. Is the supermarket still open? Peggy, keep him here. Did you know there exists a softness beyond any softness you've ever felt before? I don't normally go in for that it-takes-a-village garbage, but you've got a situation with your Joseph that I can't have spilling over onto my Bobby. I know, Hank, but what can I do? You can tell Joseph he's not to hang around those kids anymore. I can't do that. This is his chance to be cool, and you only get one chance, Hank. Thank you for reconsidering a vision quest, Hank. You think it'll fix Joseph? It fixed me. There aren't too many former roadies who own their own healing centers. So how does one of these things work? Think of a vision quest as a purification process to ready the body and mind to receive wisdom. One prepares for a vision by fasting for 24 hours. No food, no water, nothing. Then one must push the body to a point of physical exhaustion. To achieve this, the seeker will often wander the wilderness for many hours until he collapses. Got it. No eating or drinking, lots of hiking. Then he'll see something that'll make him okay? Hopefully. In my vision, I saw a majestic tree blowing in the wind, but the tree had no roots and was lifted up and blown away. Hey, Redcorn! Green Tube Top, row four! I knew then that the tribal elders had interpreted my vision correctly and that wrangling groupies for Winger was no way to live my life. So I was thinking I would take him to Lake Buchanan on Thursday. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how well that's gonna work with the whole, uh, keeping Dale from knowing about your, uh, hand in Joseph's creation. But Hank, it's really important that Joseph's vision be interpreted correctly if it is to guide him to the proper life path. Well then, I guess I'll bring Dale and the boys camping. Joseph will have a vision. I'll report back with the dream and you'll fill me in on the sacred wisdom and whatnot. It is a fair compromise. But Hank, this is an important ritual among my people. Don't half-ass it. Mm -hmm.